How close did you get? Y'all be talking that nigga if we made him pop up at the last second, like. Remember when we last talked? You gonna lay back, let us work our case? I said I'd do what I can. Still, I thought I might let y'all know Avon's people got in contact talking about they want to end the beef. They offered me some kind of um, amnesty. Amnesty? Look, I, I, I chill out on the manhunt and stop um, hitting them in the head for their product. They gonna call off the bounty. Take the truth, Omar. I might. They ain't trying to play me. They said they want to parlay on it. Parlay? Look, I don't know, man, but right now I need some assistance from y'all. I go to the ER and when we get back to Avon, you know he gonna have his henchman laying in the parking lot for me. <sighs> Look, I know you're friendly with a couple of doctors, right? Right? Speaking of cocksuckers. Don't believe we met. Proposition Joe. You ever steal from me, I kill your whole family. All right, y'all both here on my guarantee, so respect that shit and say what you feel. I'm up out of here. I got a man who said he's gonna give you your life back, yo. Who, Boxdale? My man say, tell that motherfucker that if he can find a way not to dip in our pockets, we're gonna call this shit evil. Y'all ace barely. And what you did to my boy? So y'all think after what you did to Brandon, we supposed to find some even on this, huh? Yo, I don't know shit about shit, all right? I'm just a messenger. Whatever, man. You know there's dead on both sides, right? There's gonna be a whole lot more if this beef keep up. If the truth be told, there'll be more soldiers in one half than the other, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look here, son. You tell Boxer that he's been paid back for what he did to my peoples. That's for his product. Well, man's got to earn a living, you know? I don't know, know what he called Boxer, me. The man I'm talking about can't have his shit taken like that. I won't do. All right. Tell him throw me some cash then, and we'll see. About five or 10,000. You know what I mean? For my retirement, Holmes. Five, if you can keep quiet about it. Send my money through Joe, man. He tried to go in my pockets again? This nigga talk about five G's, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Up, baby. I said to bring these up. You want anything else? Nah, we good. I'm saying though, how we supposed to pay that? Well, he talking about going through Joe, but I'm like, fuck Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, man. I mean, you look good and your services are appreciated. Keep them tips. I hope you're making them, baby. You make the motherfucker come down to the towers. You know what I'm saying? And they be stupid enough to come down to the towers, you know, get got. I'm supposed to pay that. Why New York? There must be something happening out there, man. Too big a town, you know what I mean? You don't believe in the truce? See, that's why I asked for that money. Now, if he'd have said, man, we ain't paying you, just be happy to live, I'd have been like, all right, they're keeping it real. When he said, come on down for $5,000, I'm like, man, please. Hey, look at Holmes. I ain't asked for much, but um, I'm a little light on traveling money. I'm saying I could go around the block and get myself paid, but I'm thinking. You keep in touch with my pager. I'm gonna need you for the Gantt trial. Go easy, Omar. Stay free.